everyone. Welcome to the Sailor Moon Crystal After Show here on AfterBuzz TV. Season 3, Episode 6, Act 31, Infinity 5, Setsuna Mayo, Sailor Pluto. They really like titles in this. We'll be breaking down the episode with our very special guest star, Amanda C. Miller, a.k.a. Sailor Jupiter. And uh, we'll be giving you all of our thoughts and predictions for the future. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. I feel like I did a much better job this time around with all of the titles. <laughs> it's a mouthful every single it time. Is. It is. There were less titles this time because it was just Sailor Pluto. It wasn't Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus, and also their real civilian yeah. secret identity and they're names. Like, Plants come live. Yeah. 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 No, they yeah. really don't believe in being concise on this show. No, no, and they certainly didn't in the '90s anime either. <laughs> oh my gosh, in the '90s one, it's like Naru's tears, Nefret dies for love. Yes, right. it's like, well, <laughs> thanks, jerk. Spoilers. Okay. <laughs> Done. I know. <laughs> I feel terrible for anyone watching the 90s anime for the first time. Like, come on, guys. At least in the deep dub, they, they made the titles a little less uh, revealing. Well, and yet, to their credit, they didn't give away everything. That's true. That's true. That's totally true. Episode. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Sailor Moon Crystal After Show. Uh, for those of you who are listening on iTunes, please do be sure to subscribe to us there, as well as uh, leaving us reviews and letting us know what you think. If you do so, you'll get a shout out on the show. We don't have any new iTunes reviews this week, so we won't be doing that this week. Yeah. But Fix that for imagine, next week. imagine how the future could be. <laughs> uh, and those of you who are listening on iTunes. Remember, you can also watch us on YouTube. You can even watch us live on YouTube on Monday nights at 10, like a bunch of you guys are doing right now. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everyone in the live chat, for joining us. Uh, remember, you can also talk to us on Twitter using that hashtag ABTVSMC, standing for Sailor Moon Crystal, because we really like alphabet soup hashtags here at AfterBuzz TV. I'm Emma Fife. I can be found all over the internet at my name, Emma Fife, and I am joined by a fabulous panel of ladies this evening, Marky and McCarty. Yes, that's me. Um, you can find me at Markia McCarty, M-A-R-K-E-I-A-M-C-C-A-R-T-Y. On the far end of the table, Megan Salinas. Hey guys, you can tweet at me at the Mangwin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. And our very special guest star for the evening, Miss Amanda Miller. Hey. Uh, I guess you can tweet at me if you want. I don't have my phone, <laughs> I don't have my phone with me. It's over on the couch. But, uh, I'm okay. Amanda underscore Celine, like C-E-L-I-N-E. -E. Like Dion. Yeah, it's my middle name, but I'm not named after her. Oh, okay. Okay. Do, are Get you named straight. after somebody? <laughs> no, she's my mom's French, and she uh, gave us all French middle names. I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> that's that's, that's, like that's that. totally fair. That's totally like fair. Uh, so let's get into <laughs> this episode. Interestingly enough, it's called Sailor Pluto. She's really only at the very end of the episode. But overall, thoughts, impressions, feelings, lay them on me. Ooh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so happy to see Setsuna back, that she's alive Still inexplicably, yeah. still inexplicably, yeah. but yeah. Uh, alive and well. This was just a really fun, <laughs> good, heartwarming episode in a lot of different ways. There were several moments where I was just like, aw. And there were a lot of pacing things that I know last week I was like, pacing's kind of weird this time around. I feel like this one really nailed it in terms of like the flow of the narrative. So I really enjoyed it. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, I was, uh, I really liked the pace of it. It was yeah, patient. I agree. It, it was, oh, okay. It was like, hey, I know this is only a half hour, but I feel like I'm getting a full meal. Mm -hmm. So I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, so absolutely. So I, I like that it, it felt like it was in three different parts. I got to have all my characters. Beginning, I got to have my... End. Yeah. 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 I got to have my Pluto and enjoy her too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I very much enjoyed this episode. Yeah. yeah. I was telling Emma earlier how it felt like the older, not the older, but, you know, the earlier Crystal episodes kind of suffered from... Yeah, that that feeling of like not being satiated. You kind of like you just you just get to a point and then they cut you off and yeah. it's like two weeks later. Whereas this one, I was surprised. I'm like, this is 22 minutes, but it feels like I'm getting like three episodes. I know. One. I agree. I actually thought uh, there was a point. I think where before they had the showdown with Telu in the like um, greenhouse. Before that. I thought it was going to cut off when they, I, I was like, oh, there, this is going to be another one where they break mm. up this act into two acts and they're going to stretch it out. But apparently it was just <laughs> unbelievable pacing for 22 minutes. Yeah. Because I totally agree. It was so satisfying. And I felt like one of the things, again, that we've talked about quite a lot on the show is that Crystal's doing really, really well this season is giving everyone time mm -hmm. to shine. 
Yes. 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 It's and, like friendships yeah. blossomed. Uh, we got to see a uh, Chibi and a uh, uh, Hotaru. Yeah. Uh, and that thing, the Holy Grail, and that oh, gift. Oh, that was so And Chibi cute. maturing. Yeah. Where she's well, like, oh, I can't give it to Mamu because that's not fair for you. Yeah. That was like the most heartwarming thing <laughs> in this entire episode. I was just like, that, it, like, because it, at first, Usagi's really annoyed by it. And then, like, two seconds later, I was like, that was the sweetest thing yeah. I think I've ever seen in this, in Crystal. Though I did mm. really enjoy that Usagi really wanted Chibiusa to give the grail to Mamoru, not to her. Exactly. Mm. Like, it was a really good yeah. character bit for the both of them. Yeah. She's like, why are you giving it to this random thing? You should be giving it to Mamoru. Yep. She's like, mm. but that's not fair to you. And yep. like, that never even occurred to her. Yeah. Like, she didn't even consider that, like, she would be entitled yeah. to <laughs> this family-made grail, like, made with plastic sparkles and, yes. <laughs> and little fake jewels. Totally, totally. Uh, I feel like that's that's the strength of this season so far, has been the relationships. And they're not mm-hmm. focusing, like, the other... The, the previous two seasons, I felt like, focused almost exclusively on... On Mamoru Usagi, and Usagi, Mamoru, yeah. And, yeah. and it was Get driving point. me nuts. Because yeah. it's like, we get it, you have this legendary romance. <laughs> <and you're> like, <laughs> You know, like, I wanted to see what everybody else was doing. So in this episode, you got to see, like, just, like, you know, Makoto and Minako just hanging yeah, out. Like, yeah, Because it's true. not all about Usagi all the yeah, time. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We have lives that's out of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's actually what I'm really enjoying is you're getting to see their lives away from Usagi. I mean, even Motoki got, like, a moment to be not just hanging out at the arcade. Like, he was out on a date with his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It was just cool Which, to see. Although, I question his judgment, because he hears that there's a part of town where weird stuff is going well, down, I mean, and his initial well, reaction is, let's go let's have go a date there, there. Yeah. like, right yeah. now. There's a lot of great uh, restaurants over yes. there. Let's um, go into danger. Yes. I mean, if they're haunted, it might be, like, cheaper than I get discounts <laughs> oh, on your yeah. meal. <laughs> or it could be, like, the place's gimmick, like, haunted dinners. <laughs> exactly. Haunted tours. Like, yeah. the waiter is, like, <laughs> un- is there, there's dead. <laughs> and the tray, like, floats to you. It's true. It could it could be a new attraction in town, or they, they could start a trend, you know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> go go out to dinner where the diamond might show up and suck out all your energy. It's fine. Uh, hello. Yeah. There are so many people saying hi in the live chat. The James W. Uh, Marinin, Hikari Tenno, Sam JJ94, uh, Thera Patridge, who is in Australia. What? What nice. time is it over New York? there? Alan Haskell's in New York. Sam is in Oklahoma. This is amazing. And, uh, and Peter Aguilar uh, said... Let's start with mini skirts, and that is all the chat has been going on about. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. how rude yeah. is right? Talk. Yeah, she she's like not doing the soup this time. I know. She's like, yeah, I've got my sporty little uh, my little leather mini skirt. Oh my yeah. god, like, she gosh. looks good. She, she looks really good, and she ran outfit. in it. I she mean, ran in the mini skirt. Let's be real. Can we blame Usagi for stalking her? After <laughs> well, her? no. After seeing them immediately running after them, right. <laughs> Just, cannot blame her. I, I feel like that was that was kind of the creepier part of the episode. Like I understand, like she was doing she it because she really was like, home. I want, I want to talk to you, and so it's a sweet reason. But like mm-hmm. they're running from you, maybe you should like reassess. <laughs> like wow, I'm chasing them. What am I doing in my life? Yeah. People are running from me. Well, not only did she run after them, she followed them to, to their, their house. apartment and That's was like true. calling for them outside their door. If we add a little bit more con, like without the context that we have of like their celestial connection, that's a real creeper thing to do. <laughs> it is a real but I love too that she shows up and she's like, "Oh, we live so close to each other." <laughs> I can yeah, see you from my window. Oh, let's take it that like, extra mile. Extra mile creepy. weird. <laughs> they could have played that like with just like change the music a little bit, change the lighting, and that could have been a truly terrifying. <laughs> <So moment. true. laughs> Although, like the way they did choose to play it, mm-hmm. it was a very sweet. Um, and I think that probably one of the greatest shots in this episode was just the two of them with um, Har- Haruka's back to the door and yeah. just that shot uh, of yeah. the two of them. It was really, uh, really effective. I mean, Angsty. because... I mean, because basically what it, what it boils down to is, you know, kind of at the beginning of the episode, one of the things they're addressing is that Usagi really wants to see Michiru and Haruka again because she, like, she wants to know what they're about. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they just... The last time they saw them, we they showed up. We should all be on the same they, team. Yeah. Did anybody get, like, that echo from, like, 90s uh, Darren and... Oh, all I can think of is Usagi now, Serena. Uh, 90s Darren and Serena when he was running away from her because of dreams. Oh, running away, running yeah. away. It was kind of like an echo of that for me when it was like that door scene with the two of them. It was just like, because she just wants to understand why. Why yeah. do you run from why me? Why don't you love me? <laughs> yeah. Although oh. I, I realized, like, thinking about all this stuff, this is totally off topic, but I'm like, if Sailor Moon was about, like, a 
boy, it would be a really creepy show. It's so true. Because like, everybody so he true. meets would be, he'd be like, you smell good. Yeah. I like your earrings. <laughs> Where'd you get that lunchbox? So, Don't run from me. <laughs> I know where you live. Yeah. So, so in regards to that, uh, Thomas uh, Vaccaro in the chat refers yes. to uh, Usagi as Usagi overly attached moon princess. Yeah. And, uh, mm-hmm. and Lucas Howell brings up a good point, though, that Usagi has like a, a pansexual love for all of the century because she did stock... Ray, because she thought she was pretty. Yeah, she's like, yeah. I'm gonna get on this oh, bus yeah. and stalk that, this pretty right. girl. How many of the Sailor Guardians has she followed home? Like, um, <laughs> I, I don't. Think, I think it was she just followed Ray, Ray home, and she followed. Ray. Haruka and Michiro home. Yeah, she didn't follow Minako home because Minako was already Sailor she Venus in it up. She didn't follow Ami home. No, no, mm. she just followed Ami to the cram school. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she did. You're right, Amanda. This show would be terrifying. It's, it's like she's an adorable one. little girl, but if the show was about a dude, it would suddenly be like, hey, are you eating lunch by yourself? Can I have some food? <laughs> At some point, as she starts to get older, before she assumes any any res- like governmental responsibility yeah. as queen, I feel like they need to like sit her down and be like, "Okay, Neo Queen Serenity, <laughs> we need to have a talk about personal space." Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Like foreign dignitary, she just like pops up behind them and is like, oh. <laughs> "I like your face." <laughs> Like, what are you eating? Ah! (laughs) The queen of the world is stealing my lunch and I can't say anything. (laughs) That is amazing. Uh, She's like the Bill Murray. She can do no wrong at all. No one will ever believe you. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Imagine Sailor Sailor Murray. Sailor (laughs) Murray. Oh my goodness! Oh, I want somebody to Photoshop geez. that. That'd be, that'd be awesome. I, I want I want him now. her to show up at my birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> Sailor Murray, he's just like Sailor this Murray. lackadaisical Sailor yeah. Guardian. Yeah. Like, hey. Can you, uh, Thomas Ferrara wants to know? Can you order a restraining order against a princess? Do those exist in the monarchy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, in the celestial monarchy uh, specifically. Uh, uh, I was gonna say maybe the outer sense she chose to. Stand I know they're like the, they're dance. like oh it was it was our mission. To yeah, be on the outskirts yeah, and never was, interact yeah. with you. Yes, it was our mission. And the cats are like, no, you know, you really could have just like, no, no it's our mission. No, mission. <laughs> Life and death. We yeah. have a yeah. destiny. <laughs> It's like, uh, we don't want to hurt your feelings, but um, oh, we need space. Yeah. We need all of that space. Yeah. It's like, look over what you just did. You were outside of our door. Yeah. You were sobbing. It is three in the morning. We were trying to yeah. sleep. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this yes. is our date night. Yeah. Uh, oh, that would have been terrible. They were on their way to like a show or something. Oh, yeah. they, were, they were they were all dressed, dressed up. So you know? I would believe that. Oh, oh, she ruined their date night. Oh. They were trying to have a last night out. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. And they're like, yeah, let's go home and have yeah. some time together. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> Guys, Usagi's kind of a jerk. <laughs> but she doesn't mean to be. No. You know, that's the thing is, like, she is this very sort of, like, innocent, sweet person. Though, <laughs> though I like to. What? Sorry. Uh, everybody's going, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Hikan Tinok? Uh, Pharaoh 90 is a Stay Puff man. <laughs> like, there's, there's like Sailor Murray, Don't Cross the Stream. Oh, so no. no. You got Sailor Moon, and Ghostbusters, there is and no Bill Murray. Tyra, only Zool. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Plus, um, Sailor Pluto, I, are you the gatekeeper? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm the keymaster. <laughs> I'm the keymaster. She is, though. She is. Do good. memes. Do memes, please. Yes, please, guys. Re- <laughs> recast all of Ghostbusters as Sailor Moon. That, that is your fan art slash Photoshop challenge uh, oh, for the week. Mercury Get it would be together. Egon. It would be so great. Yep, it would be amazing. Uh, I need that in my life. Someone yeah. make it. Uh, but speaking of Pharaoh 90, we did actually get to see both Professor Tomoe and Cowley Knight interacting with him this week, which I really enjoyed seeing the two of them work together as, like, I felt like there was a partnership there. Yeah, um, and again, this is very different from the way that it was presented in the 90s, because if I'm I'm not mistaken, in the 90s anime, he was straight up already possessed by Pharaoh 90. Yeah, well, I mean, they make it... It was just kind of like this weird, nebulous, dark cloud thing. I mean, they make it seem from their conversation, because they say, when they're talking about the failed diamonds and how they're like, we've we've failed to acquire, you know, good vessels, like, Mm -hmm. we take the soul out of people and we put the diamond eggs into them but they don't quite turn out right you know no one's as perfect as us yeah 
<laughs> we are the cream of the crop. Yeah. So, right. I mean, basically suggesting that, like, they already are possessed by, like, they already are, like, diamonds of their own. Yeah, exactly. They're just better versions than, like, the students. And it's it's kind of interesting, too, to see, like, a, a different... Because I, I see them, like, kneeling and talking to Pharaoh and I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, this is kind of like another Queen Metallia situation mm-hmm. we have going on mm-hmm. where where the bad guy is this weird nebulous thing that we can't see. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of part for the course of Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah. like, where are all these nebulous, yeah. weird, evil entities Listen, coming in from? Listen, in the musicals, there's a lot of uh, lighting effects that are the, the main bad guy in the show. <laughs> It is, it is kind of interesting having the dual bad guys this early on because yeah. usually it's like you really get into hating this big bad and it's like oh no wait they've been taken over by this yeah they made it some poor decisions. Turns out this person was pulling the strings all along. Yeah. 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 But then you know later on after he's saved by Usagi because he's so going to be uh, then he can be a good father again. Uh, 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 well, no, <laughs> this, just, is, this is my world. Have, this is my world. No I have not read the I'm manga. Like, that's, a, that's a nice dream for this the future. Is, this is my world. I have not read the manga, but like, I thought we were gonna get an ice cream shop. I have ste- <laughs> I have ceased hoping for anybody who, who I thought got a happy ending in H- the nineties. Hotaru anyway. will have a really great dad, and that's gonna be awesome. Pharaoh Ninety will be Vanquish, and then Professor Tomo will be her awesome dad. And like, her mom's gonna come back. <laughs> <dead. laughs> She's going to be like, hey guys, I wasn't dead. I was just sleeping. I took a nap and I woke up and you guys weren't there. Oh, no. So <laughs> I've been on so vacation weird. this whole time. Yeah, I've got a great tan. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Ready yeah. to be a mom again. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah, but I, I enjoyed their sort of interaction with Pharaoh 90 and then when Telu showed up and was like, I'm Telu, I'm level 404, which she said like six times in the episode. She really needed you to know that that was her level. And I also run phys ed and botany. Because those two things are super related. Budget cuts. (laughs) Well, I mean, it was... At the Munkin Academy, they keep losing staff members. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. A lot of liability insurance. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be like, all they have is money. Like, come on. There's all these (laughs) dead kids whose tuition is just (laughs) going towards whatever now. (laughs) There are a lot of class action lawsuit settlements they have to do, and they have to do it quietly, so they have to pay more. If the student yeah. dies, does that do they does the tuition go back to your parents? I don't, even probably not at Moog M. No taxis backsies. <laughs> it's your policy. You yeah. 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 probably put it like in a bag and yeah. just like, oh, you know, if you want to get that, <laughs> it's it's out there. If yeah. not, we'll sell it. Yeah. <laughs> uh Shino S <laughs> says, uh, Marquia loves the hot dad professor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was uh was it Lauren who said he had kinda had like a silver fox thing going on? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well he's not all the way creepy, he just has like monsters. In his basement. Yeah, and just everybody like a has weird, something. A yeah, and pentagram and demons, demons or yeah. demons. There we go. Yeah, yeah. diamonds. Oh, diamonds. Terrible. Yeah, he just hasn't seen the light yet. Yeah, so. in the, in the, he's in a single dad. He's just trying to make it work. <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, I respect that because like he's yeah. a single dad. He's doing the best he can. Sure. And uh, yeah. naturally, he just <laughs> enlisted the help of this crazy possessed. Hey, woman. I mean, hey, you, you get single parent for it. It's a lot of work. Yeah, you know, babysitting. He found them all on Craigslist. Yeah. But he, if like this whole thing like you know gets resolved and he he does get saved at the very end he's like well that's the last time <laughs> I go on Craigslist for many yep. lesson yeah. learned yeah. Yeah. so uh, so shifting gears here uh, to talk about Makoto of course because she did get to be a good little focus of this episode as well and and I was gonna say specific, well, a little bit specifically <laughs> yeah. with Telu they they made her phys ed and botany so she could be matched up against Mako because all of the witches five kind of roughly correspond to one of the girls and so for this it's Telu and Sailor Jupiter. Uh, but uh, Farah uh, Partridge in the chat wants to know, why was Mako dreaming of Mamoru? That was what I was saying. Like, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know. I was shipping them in my head all of a sudden. I was just like, I was like, what if, what if that's like on purpose? Like, what if it isn't just like a character design flaw where they just d- use the wrong hair color? Like, yeah. some artist didn't see the previous season and told him he had this kind of blonde. Some artist has never heard of Sailor Moon. He's, I don't know. He's, there's like three hair colors to pick from. He's like, whatever, work is work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's phoning it in. Yeah. But yeah, I was thinking it was Mama, and then I was like, yeah, I bet you, like, on Silver Millennium, they were like, Whoa. had a thing. Uh oh. But he was seeing Usagi, and it was all awkward, but they were secretly having, like, little trysts. <laughs> She was lifting him over her head. This is very elaborate. (laughs) 
But then she said his name That's later. That's where she learned it. Yeah, she did say his name later. It was like, it started with an M. No, somewhere there's no a... good shoot. Pikachu. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, thought like I, I thought I wrote it down, it. but I, I just wrote down her favorite kind of flower. I thought it was like Noguchi or something. I, I'm yeah, it sounded like, like that. that yeah. yeah. Uh, I was picturing that there's a, a Chibi Mako <laughs> son running around. Chibi oh. Usa, Chibi Mako. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, She'd be a fierce what little thing. Been? What could have been? Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, they did They did animate her her set her past senpai to look a little like Mamoru, but he did have a different name, and Mamoru, as far as I know, never gave her those flowers, but we don't know. We don't know Mamoru you was don't know. before. You don't know. <laughs> well, you know, there, it could be that that's not how he looked at all, but since everybody reminds her of her, <laughs> her old true. ex-boyfriend. She's super imposing dude yeah, she yeah. knows. <laughs> she, just, she sees Mamoru more than any other guy, yeah, so she, like, just, yeah, um, she just dreams of men <laughs> looking like Mamoru. Like this guy probably never even existed. Or <laughs> yeah. like, oh, oh, oh. She's like a beautiful minding it up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. uh, Fair um, Partridge in the chat says, Amanda, you need to write that fan fiction. <laughs> and and uh, Alan Haskell says, Amanda is giving me life. And Cyclops <laughs> 80 says, Amanda is awesome. Ooh, and also, RJ118, let me just adjust my glasses here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Jupiter is cheating on Coon's like, no, 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 Nephrite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Which, again, if that were true, he would be her rebound. I know. In the <laughs> so yeah. if, he, if he was, you know, alive. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's another one. We were, like we were talking yeah. about like happy endings. I had hoped. I was like, oh, they're for Crystal. I'm like, they're bringing back the. Uh, yeah. 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 You know, okay. Like this yeah. is this is gonna be great. They're gonna go on double dates or quadruple dates together. Oh, they're so gonna nice. go to roller derby together. <laughs> yeah. Or, or ice skating. Yeah. Or you know? or the ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Like yeah, oh, the yeah. the ice cream shop is a lot. And they're all just three <laughs> days away from retirement. It's great, guys. It's just great. don't. Don't ever say you're close to retirement. Just keep that ish to yourself. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, like, no. Keep it close. Keep it secret. <laughs> keep it secret. Yeah. Keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, I I did like though that sort of thing with the plants that kind of like made you have kind of like wish fulfillment dreams. I felt like. Yeah. Why I mean, was that a bad thing? Well, I, I, mean, I suppose if it ends up killing you. Yeah, I think the idea is that it's like that. It puts you in this like relaxed sort of comatose state, so that it can drain your soul out of your like body. Like television. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna die at some point. I'm just saying, if I had to die, that would probably be the way to go. I don't yeah, know. I like, Evil hmm. Dead is sort of conditioned to me to just not trust horror-related plant things. Yeah, in that's general. true. That's true. Just I, I do. Clear of I that. do love how quick Sailor Jupiter. Well, no, she was Mako then. Uh, when she like. Like, oh, that's opening. That's so nice. Nope. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. yes. Probably because she said you killed my plants. Those are not cheap. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But I, but it was amazing when she like just knifed that. Plant. <laughs> like, and she had just woke up from a nap. She's just like, yeah. what? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> this is a whole lot of nope. I'm not, so I'm that not that coordinated she, like that after does, I wake up from a nap. Does yeah. that mean she like sleeps with just knives on her? She's like always in, in her vicinity. vicinity. Well, I mean, it was, she was in. They were in the kitchen. She'd been cooking. I in yeah. retrospect, it might have been a steak knife. Like she <laughs> might have been eating steaks. I don't know. They they were hanging out. Yeah, but just think of that like snap decision where it's like, hey. These plants are doing all of my other ones are yeah. <gasps> <Dire>. yes. <laughs> Yep. So uh, let's uh, talk a little now about the uh, Chibiusa Hotaru stuff that went on in this episode. What it was so first of all, it's it's harsh like whenever you see any character sort of getting like bullied, bullied. in any way, shape, Oh my form. god, yeah. This reminded me a lot of the R movie, actually. The the Sailor Moon R movie. Oh, I mean yeah. and time out for a second because if the Sailor Moon R movie had happened in this universe, which it had not, they would have had no excuse for not immediately suspecting evil plants. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Flowers are the devil in there. Exactly. Oh, exactly. So in the 90s anime, they have no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as that terror run shop showed up, they should have been like, nope. nope. Oh, no. <laughs> Especially because they're like talking about these plants. They're like, they're amazing. You don't have to water them. You're like, that's... 
Is that a red flag? And can you think of just how horrifying a world like that would be? You can't have jewelry. Yeah. You can't have nice <laughs> this is why you can't have nice things. Yeah. You, you can't, can't have it at the gym. You can't do anything because it's a gimmick of the world. That's true. Yeah. I do feel like, though, a lot of times it's a giveaway. Like, if you know any sort of, like, English words, if it has dark <laughs> or, like, or evil in it, we yeah. just don't go there. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing yeah. dark like, psychic readings yeah. today. Or, like, in the, in the first season, video dark. Yep. <laughs> We're really? not yeah. going there. Nope, not going to go there. That mm. sounds legit. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, just don't go to ceremonies at your school. <laughs> holds like it on the wilderness and you have robes on. Yeah. You know, just don't go to a ceremony. Don't go to cult meetings that your don't school just like. To I, think just that's, no. I think that's a general, like, just yeah. don't do that's that. That's a good life lesson right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we went, it was. It was very sad to see uh, Hotaru getting bullied. Um, and then, uh, but the scene with Chibiusa in her class where her teacher's like, you guys should figure out someone to give your things that you made in art class to. How Aww. about that little boy, huh? Way to step up, oh, dude. <laughs> Way to step up. Well, I, I like love that. that all of their uh, classmates were basically audience stand-ins just going, Ooh. <laughs> That was amazing. Well, and he, and I mean, again, we're at the mercy of the translation because none of us speak Japanese, but like the fact that he goes up to her and he's like, I think of you as my partner. I was like, whoa, this is, okay. this is pretty serious for age six. <laughs> and, and the thing of it is, is that he didn't even think about it. Everybody no. else was like, the teacher just said, you know, whoever. I know. He's, like, he's like, be like, yo. Uh, hey, girl, uh, this cup. <laughs> well, and, and his art project, and again, this is before they knew they were going to have to give it away to somebody. He made a Sailor Moon. Moon pen holder yeah. just yeah. for himself like that was like wow like sailor moons are role model to all children not of course. just girls yay <laughs> i'm sorry I'm, I'm gonna get back on track in just a second but there were a couple of really funny things uh, in the chat <laughs> Uh, first of all, Lucas Howell, yes, I do remember those plant monsters from Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. Uh, they're uh, all <laughs> monsters in that. It's a great show, guys, but you got to look past the Yoma. Uh, and, then, and the stuffed cat. Yes. <laughs> and the stuffed cat. Uh, and then, oh, where was it? Who, I need to credit this to the right person, uh, said Fair. Oh, uh, Thomas Vaccaro says, a Pharaoh 90 is Tom Cruise, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess yes, there's definitely some similarities not, between the the Mugen Academy and the uh, Scientology. Would not be surprised if that was the twist. Anyway. It's true. She's, yeah. she's level 404 yeah. and their levels in Scientology. Yeah. What is it? My feet and readings or whatever it is. That yeah, feet and feet. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, God. I need, the, body. I need yeah. the pronunciation of that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, but uh, something with that whole Holy Grail thing. Yeah, yeah. It was like, I really loved what it said about how Chibi feels about Hutaru, um, who's basically a new friend. Yeah. You know how we were talking about, like, with Sailor Moon, how she has uh, somewhat of an unhealthy <laughs> attraction to her celestial sure, sisters. Sure. You know, so then Chibi also has that. Like, she's, like, immediately attracted to Hutaru. Like, yeah. You know? And yeah. To the point where it's, like, out of all the friends that she has, and she's a popular little girl. Sure, she clearly. She goes, Hotaru. It's like, this is, my well, mom and dad and me made this, and I'm giving this to you. Well, yeah. and I'm wondering if she doesn't have more of an innate connection to the outer senshi, um, just because she she was friends with Sailor Pluto for mm -hmm. so long. Um, and so, like, when she meets uh, Michiru and um, Haruka, she doesn't rat on them immediately. Like, there, she has several opportunities to yeah. say, oh, by the mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Well, they gave her a helicopter ride. You don't snitch on somebody who gave a helicopter ride. That's true. <laughs> that, that is, is true. Because then but you she, might not get another one. Right. But she had several She's opportunities to tattle on them, and she didn't. And she now is feeling this really special connection. Yeah. Uh, uh, to hit. Uh, I keep getting Hotaru. the H. Hotaru. I keep getting the H names. I yeah, know. it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all right. It, ha it happens at least once an episode. I think we all do it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I agree with you. And I and I liked just uh, yeah, I like the friendship that's developing between them. And it was and it was really nice to see that scene coming out of Hotaru having been bullied. And then Chibiusa like seeks her out and goes to her house to be like, I want to give you this cup. I love you. Like, <laughs> well, you... how creepy was it when she like flashed into you know Sailor Saturn 
and it's like when she went blank, oh we heard God, the voice. Yes, we heard the voice yeah. for the first time. Mabaroshino. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's just reaching for it. You knew the whole thing in Japanese. Uh, yeah, I do. It's, How many times listen, did you go back and listen? Like, I've <laughs> watched a lot of Sailor Moon in my life in recent years. Uh, so have I, but I can't say it in Japanese. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like they say it a lot in Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon in the live action version. So I think that's where it like really it's just ingrained in, in your consciousness now. It is. I just love that nothing ever has an abbreviation in Sailor Moon it's always like ah oh, yes you have the legendary silver crystal like it's, yeah, it's, sure. never, oh, it's yeah. never like oh you have the crystal or you have the silver crystal it's like oh the legendary silver crystal yeah, yeah. like they, oh you got that powerful thing that yeah. we need <laughs> it's like oh you have that yeah. You have that MacGuffin that we've been searching for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, how about Usagi uh, running into Professor Tomoe running around the hallway? <laughs> yeah. That was creepy. <laughs> Hey, I mean, you know. to be fair, she was like loitering in his house. That is she's just like, girl, what you doing? Why are you all up in my business? Yeah. yeah. Well, because I mean, she found out from the, the cats, like you do, <laughs> uh, that Hotaru was Professor Tomoe's daughter. And so she's like, oh, this is shady. Conveniently, I really need to pee. Uh, and <laughs> then I'm just going to like wander around for a little while. <laughs> well, I mean, to kind of add to like the eeriness, the last time we had a Sailor Guardian like investigating dark hallways, she found an entire laboratory filled with monstrosities. So I'm expecting Usagi to turn a corner and, oh, but there's a diamond. Oh my god. And it's monstrous and evil. And it's got red eyes and it wants to eat her. Yeah. No, he's at home. He doesn't bring his work home. <laughs> he doesn't bring his work home with it. Not his horror work. <laughs> uh, Amanda, Rebecca McDonald in the chat wants you to know that she loves your work as Sailor Jupiter. Thanks, guys. Also, this is the voice for the next season. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, just really, really going to take it in a different direction. Yeah, I really want to make it my own now. Well, yeah. 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 You just kind of... Yeah. And well, nice... This- Oh, I mean, oh no, go ahead, Martina. No, I was going to say, slack load. Kira H, uh, she says, Tomo finally looks not only creepy, but dare I say, good looking. He yes. does. No, Especially he's... that lab close up. Thank you. Yeah. You know, he, he, like I said, single dad. He had to get funding from somewhere. Mm-hmm. And Pharaoh 90s pockets yeah. are deep. So yeah. well, A lot of dads See, aren't even in the picture. So the fact that he's there, <laughs> there he's, yeah. he's, holding him. he's trying. I feel like Washi too... turns out to be a total monster. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, too, that. Uh, you like sort of I don't know. You like get why like Kelly Knight's like with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, because he's like kind of weirdly attractive. <laughs> I was gonna, yeah, why why go to the forces of evil? He should have taken up modeling. Yeah, I seriously. Like, hey, there aren't a lot of single guys in this in this yeah. series, so he's he's a pretty choice member. He could member. be a great scientist slash model. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's a calendar. <laughs> sexy science. Sexy 2016. Ooh. Yeah, and then maybe it's not a creepy eye. Maybe it's a, a stylish monocle kaleidoscope. <laughs> sure. So there's what is there's it a for? Is it like, does it do anything? The, it's like it, not it's that just far. To, it's just to it's remind like, you, he's evil. like don't forget he's evil. Yeah. So that's like, kind of that, offensive to people who actually like have eye patches in like real life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think too like, many of them have pentagrams on them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Um, yeah. So all that goes down with uh, Otaru tries to steal the silver crystal for a second, but then remember she's Otaru and she's not an evil uh, daimon possessed crazy person. Uh, however, uh, Telu definitely is, and so they confront her like in the greenhouse with all the the plants that she's been growing, the the Telun plants, mm-hmm. which Very probably named. should have transformed. But I mean, they they were really good about this last time. Probably should have transformed about before yeah, they got before there. Yeah, before they got there. But I yeah. will say, I really liked the transformation mashup that yes. they did. That was nice. It was nicely yep. timed. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Uh, and. Something we've been saying over and over again for this season is, like, we're really glad that they're only sticking to, like, one or two transformation sequences for time's sake. There's no need to go through each and every one of them like every get, single we time. We see that they're transformed. And yeah. we get that. We get, like, a best of highlight reel this time around, which yeah. is really great. No, it, it totally was. It, it, yeah, I was I was enthralled, and then they used all their best attacks, and mm-hmm. it was amazing. I do have a thought, though. This might just be me. Sure. I'm biased, but is it? Does it just seem like Jupiter's transformation is the shortest out of everyone's? 
Well, she's ready to get into the fight. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm she's just saying, I fighting. noticed that. Like, Venus gets this long, cool, glittery-ass one. Oh, sorry, do I swear? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, I feel like that's minor. Yeah. <laughs> but then, like, no, nobody... I know, just like, in the chat, little, do you notice that? Yeah, in Am chat, guys, do you think that Jupiter's transformation <laughs> sequence is shorter than everybody else's? <laughs> I personally enjoy the little twirl Jupiter has at the end of hers. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just this good little twirl. And, I'm just oh. saying, like, everybody yeah. else, you get to see all this stuff wrapping around them, and Jupiter's like, <laughs> spin, done. <laughs> Less Lightning fight. Bolts. You know, I never <laughs> thought to, like, sit down and time each of them. I didn't see, time like, it, running oh, time yeah. for each. I always thought mm. Mercury had a particularly short one. Because it's just, like, Because you see, water, she does, it, like, wraps around And then her. it just zooms up, and then she's changed. And then there's this little... <laughs> Well, somebody if time there's, it. If there's, somebody, somebody if there's something it. we can rely on the internet, it's being overly critical yeah. of okay. yeah. details so, down to the yeah, second. That, so in the chat, Peter Aguilar, uh, Alan Haskell, and somebody else, Farrah Partridge, agree with you, Amanda? That Thank I think you. it is by far the shortest. However, <laughs> however Thomas Bacaro says... Jupiter as a coconut, Amanda. You good? <laughs> That's yeah. true. Coconut I do love cyclone. coconut. I mean, <laughs> the coconut, coconut cyclone is a very cool looking. It's very cool. It, really it, is. Is. it was yeah. like a Kamehameha. It was so pretty. Yeah. It's yeah. So cool. No, it's super cool to see this animated because, like, in terms of animation for this attack, before we've only seen it in some of the video games, which we never got in the U.S. So, like, it, it's kind of like Sailor Saturn, guys. Someday she's gonna get a transformation sequence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, speaking Speaking of though, the fight though, because you know we're talking about that. Yeah. It's like uh, that was pretty awesome. I mean, level four hundred four obviously is a level that you cannot mess with. Yeah. Where they are right now because they they threw the stuff yeah. out there. Yeah. And, and they got attacks usually work. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. it got sucked into no, a hand. Chibs or Chibis well, got sucked into a hand. To be fair, Usagi's attack didn't really work last week either because Neptune and Uranus showed up and saved them. Uh, uh, yeah, Neptune yeah. and Uranus showed up and saved them last week. Yeah. You, I mean, you have to give this this villain some credit because anytime. You you see it cut to a villain in the middle of the heart spiral attack. You're like, oh, yep. this isn't gonna work. You're messing yeah. with the shot footage. Yeah, she interrupted the attack sequence, the the recycled animation footage. This isn't gonna work, guys. Yeah. This is not gonna work. We have to come up with another plan. Oh, I mean, goodness. thank goodness Sailor Pluto woke up to be able to do dead screen. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, it's, before, it's like, but what does that say? Yeah. Oh. Just right before we move on to Pluto, yeah. because somebody did, they timed Mako's transformation uh -oh. sequence. It is 28 seconds. Uh, and everyone was talking about uh, Jupiter being time efficient. She just gets stuff done. Uh, she does. And Stoic the D capped it off with Mako's all about the business. <laughs> just getting it done. How, how long are the rest of theirs? So I don't know. So yeah, every, yeah. Time, time the rest of them. Yeah. 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 Let, yeah. let us know by the end of the Be episode. Thorough, but guys. yes, uh, <laughs> order it from uh, longest to shortest. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and yeah. give that to You're like a point <laughs> system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Um, I, I will say, before we move on, I will say that, like, seeing this villain transform... Oh, into her, like, crazy Daimon form? Like, I know that every single villain in the 90s anime, like, transformed, so it wasn't really sure, a big sure. deal, but not seeing that in Crystal very often, this was, like, genuinely frightening to see her absorb all of their energy and then, like, encase herself in vines and then transform into a monster that was that was genuinely unsettling yeah no i, t I, I totally on. agree a lot of foreshadowing going on there because if their powers aren't enough right now for level 404 <laughs> there's, there's what two others left um and not you know not even counting pharaoh 90 yeah so i mean the outer sense she can't save them every time Yep. So what are they gonna do? How are they gonna level up? Yeah, they're up? making up for date night right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm they're going down to the them. courthouse to get a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, but yes, moving on to uh, the actual title character of this episode, the reappearance of Sailor Pluto. Yeah. I mean, Set Setsuna. Yeah, Setsuna. 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 Yeah, she. So basically, like, she is having her energy drained by one of the telling plants like you do uh, <laughs> and as she's like dying basically she's like I need to 
remember why I was reborn. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I was like, whoa, is she actually aware? Because it seems like she's very much aware of, like, I've been brought back for a very specific purpose. Yeah. And you don't always get that with reincarnation. Sure, it seems sure. Like most of them kind of needed a reminder yeah. here and there. She's I feel a like, denizen of time. I think yeah. all rules are out the window for her. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it was in that moment of trauma, though, that, like, Sort of sparked her reawakening. Right. She didn't remember. She didn't remember the she, whole yeah, time. Yeah. She didn't she's remember like, the I'm whole a scientist. Time. Yeah. She's like, I'm a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's actually working on in that lab is putting together that sexy scientist. Yeah. Uh, she's like, I'm doing a calendar. This is really important, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But she. Uh, yeah. I. I. Uh, I was very happy to see her back. I was very happy to see that they kept the like. Sort of morose, calm, dead scream. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, didn't get the bouncing, you know, bouncing ball planet. Oh no, yeah, thing. that's true. Yeah, yeah, it was just like just a thing. Well, with a... you've been waiting for that. Like, I have been all waiting. season. I have. When, when I saw it, I was like, oh, Marquis is gonna freak. <laughs> yeah, and it and it it did exactly what it needed to do. It yeah. sneaked out of the corner of the eye. <laughs> yeah, it's just like dead scream. Yep. I liked it. She's I a little it Russian a in my life. She's a little Russian. A little Russian. It's fine. Uh, you die now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, then, she sure did. Yep. <laughs> she sure did. Yep, she, she did. I mean, Chibi Usa tried really hard. Yeah, it was a really cute. Like the... She's coming around. It was a it was a far more effective pink sugar heart attack than we ever saw in the nineties oh, anime. Man. Which, by the way, there like, is an episode in the nineties anime. Where Mamoru like swings in as tuxedo mask with Chibiusa, like it really looks like he has her like a baby Bjorn or something. <laughs> and he's just like swinging through the air and she's like, Pink Sugar Heart Attack. And it's just like little hearts. <laughs> 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 Did you imagine like in real time though, like if you were actually in this battle and you're throwing all these like cool attacks, like you know, fire stuff yeah, on that, and yeah. this little six year old, like pew. <laughs> Sit, like somebody in. take her home. Sit, where's your babysitter? Yeah, <laughs> you go on well, Craigslist, find the ones that are the tomboy. I years. actually get really emotional though when she like asked her future mom. She's like, "Lend me power. I want to help." Yeah, which is why the ending works right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the ending works right now because the, she's becoming. You know, she's maturing. We've seen that in the past two to three episodes. And then it can move on to a different ending, but that's why it's happening now. Mm. She's upset because we didn't like... Or I, I, didn't, I don't like the new ending I'm like song. I'm because you don't like yeah. the new ending song. I like things that are, like, angsty and emotional. Right. So, so I'm you like, were all about that, that like, lesbian the, love duet. The the rainbow. It's just too sugar yeah. Yeah. Which I have to say, I mean, after that beautiful shot of... Uh, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto all just being, like, tall and giraffe-like and silhouetted and naked. It was a little disappointing to not have the, like, lesbian, like, love ballad. Yeah, it's just like, like, cutesy, I don't know. You can yeah. give me a cavity. Yeah, yeah, it was great. <laughs> yep, totally. Uh, but, yeah, and so she shows up and we just see Sailor Pluto, and that was it. I feel like they did a good job with this attack, too, like, the way that they teased Uranus and Neptune's attacks the first time around, and then the next episode we saw them transform and do attacks for real. So, yeah, I, I do think it's kind of funny that Tuxedo Mask showed up. Uh, like, I know Tuxedo Mask did show up like two seconds before Pluto did. So he's like, "Don't worry, I'm here to save the dead, <laughs> dead scream." Yep. <laughs> she completely well, so could stay home and watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I didn't need to be here. I'll just take the six-year-old and go babysit. It's fine. <laughs> yep. Uh, so uh, before we uh, wrap things up here forever, ever uh, for the mm-hmm. week, anyway, uh, <laughs> let's dive into some uh, predictions because I'm curious to know what you're gonna say. <laughs> And now, you're after Yay. Buzz TV. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after Marquia talking about uh, Professor Tomoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, he's he's a real hot dad. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a real good dad, according to Marquis as well. He yes, just, yes, that's, that's going to stay true. He needs that's someone to give him true. a chance to shine. <laughs> he's just made some bad choices. He'll learn. Just like the Shintano, he'll he'll be be taught the error of his ways, and then oh, he'll yeah. go on to live a long, fulfilling life. Right, he's just going to get stomped yes. by that Monty Python foot. And no. Just... No. <laughs> no, there's going to be such a lovely hugging scene between him and his daughter right before you know she has to destroy things and become a baby 
<laughs> if it's like the 90s. Yeah. That's not yeah. a spoiler because that's like 20 years ago. That is true. That's very true. It's not a spoiler. <laughs> I was going to say, if we're going to start doing that, we should probably like start the shows with, by the way, spoilers, spoilers. for stuff from the from, 90s. From the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, it looks like from the preview that like I was like, yay, we get Pluto back and this is great. We get all of the outer sensory. Why are their pupils red? That's confusing. Oh, yeah. So I'm I remember guessing what happens the, in the next act now. <laughs> is this the final member of the Witches Five? Yes, yeah, Cyprine. I can't count. So that's mm-hmm. good to know. Okay. Um, I'm guessing that she has some some sort of. Well, they all have like mind control powers to an extent. <laughs> well, but to an extent. I'm guessing she has some sort of mind control powers, so mm-hmm. that it's outer sense she versus inner sense she, and it's just going to be all out fight, and it's going to make me cry. I think that's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, a uh, little quick news and gossip before we uh, say goodbye. There it is. I should have submitted pictures for this because the packaging is really pretty, but the uh, first English Sailor Moon Crystal Blu-ray set will be released on August 16th. Ooh, nice. Uh, and if Just you in time for my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and if you uh, pre-order it now, uh, you can get this really beautiful sun catcher that has like silhouettes of all the girls and it looks like stained glass. What's a sun catcher? It's like a thing that hangs in the window. But it catches the light. Yeah, it catches the light. As opposed to dream catchers. Yeah. I was gonna say, that like, are just like straight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the catches abstract invisible dreams. Uh, the sun catcher catches the sun and it looks pretty. Right. Anyway, <laughs> August 16th, they look amazing. Uh, yeah, and if you pre order it, you can get the um, sun catcher. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. That, that English dub of Crystal is pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. Credit to, uh, to you guys, of course. And I also think that. Um, they did a really good job with kind of going, ooh, uh, yeah, they didn't explain this very well. We're going to try to change the dialogue a little to make this make a little more sense. Uh, so if you guys have not seen the uh, Sailor Moon Crystal English language version, you should totally check it out. I think the last episode just aired on Hulu last mm. Friday, so it's all so on the there. So dub's up. Yep, it's all nice. on there. Check it out. It's uh, it's really good. Also, a little fun fact, Deb Crane, the writer, the, yeah. uh, she likes to work in as many song titles and lyrics <laughs> oh, as she yes! can. yes! I know she told me that. Into, oh into the lines of dialogue, so there's definitely time it's like you know don't stop believing yeah <laughs> believe in love yep. <laughs> nice she has just become great. my hero yep. that's amazing she's pretty great she's pretty great we'll have to cut, have her uh, come in and talk about uh, what she's plotting to try to work into season three of Sailor Moon <laughs> no. Crystal anybody but... who can work in song lyrics into their actual scripts that's it's... like that's a magical thing I'm yep. worried that I just like ruined it for people because now they're going to be like listening to the whole show like listening, listening just for, for that yeah. and not yeah. like Really? <laughs> Hold on, we're halfway there. <laughs> like Professor Tomo is like, with my naked eye, I saw. <laughs> we're living on a prayer. Yeah, it's, you know what? I'm fine with it. Uh, yes, yeah, so Amanda, thanks for joining us yeah, today. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, it was great to uh, to see you here again. Uh, I mean, it was so like, since you're not going to be with us every week, though people in the chat said you should be. Oh, I thought you were about uh, to yeah. thank you. I, was, I thought you were about to say you're not going to be with us ever again. <laughs> So until the next time you come in, where can people uh, keep up with all the things that you're doing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was saying earlier, I can't remember all of my handles right, to, like, of course. Instagram, <laughs> but if you go to my website, amandacmiller.com, that has all like my Tumblr. Oh, well, Tumblr is Amanda Miller VO, mm-hmm. and that's kind of I'm pretty active there. And then yeah. Twitter is Amanda underscore Celine. Yep. And, uh, yeah, also check out my web series called Ghosts and Stuff Incorporated. Ooh. We don't have the episodes out yet, but like it on Facebook and subscribe to it. we got a lot of voice actors in it. Yeah. yeah. Does cool. it have a YouTube page already? It does, and it's got, like, a silly infomercial we made. <laughs> up, but the, the actual show looks a lot better than nice. this. Nice. Uh, Megan, how about you? Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mangwin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. I am also on a bunch of shows here at After Buzz, and I write articles for the movie Chick. That's Chick with two Ks. Be sure to check those out. Mark here. McCarty. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram uh, at Markeia McCarty, M-A-R-K-E-I-A M-C-C-A-R-T-Y I'm also on Snapchat as Darth Thinman. <laughs> <laughs> She's all about Snapchat. Too. I am. She's, like, I, I love it better. now. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can see me on the WWE Raw after show. That's every Monday. Uh, that's uh, we start at like eight fifteen. This so <laughs> it should be at eight. It's at eight fifteen. Yeah. Uh, and also, if you love live comedy, uh, my group Essence Improv, which is all black females doing comedy, uh, yeah. we have our monthly show at Impro Studio on the twenty first at seven o'clock. 
three of the four people here have seen the show. I know. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty good. Go see it. I yeah, know. so I'm please be come see it. in Hawaii during that um, show. I'm going to be in the Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, the rest of you can More realistic it. excuse. Uh, also, <laughs> also, Montserrat Geraldin says Sailor Moon's transformation is 43 seconds long. Uh, no. And I'm sorry, Harukaru, for not talking about miniskirts enough. Uh, uh, I mean, miniskirt, miniskirt. What can we say? They're, miniskirts. they're great. Uh, I'm Emma Fife. I can be found all over the internet at my name, Emma Fife, E M M A F Y F F E. Uh, you can also listen to me talking about Sailor Moon more on my other Sailor Moon podcast, Love and Justice, a serious Sailor Moon podcast. You can find us in the iTunes store. We'll have a new episode out tomorrow morning. Amanda actually joined us for that as well so uh, you can go hear us get a uh, real in-depth about uh, all the all the Sailor Moonness and go on some weird tangents and the Duggars uh, and the Duggars yep uh, it's it's a it's a weird <laughs> weird good time guys <laughs> thank you so much everybody who was in the live chat tonight you're awesome thank you for joining us remember you can keep talking to us using that hashtag ADTVSMC mm-hmm. and we will see you all again next week bye, bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. In the the name name of the moon, moon, I'll punish you. you. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.